So in this video, I'll present to you uh, taxes and imports because these are the two important things that professors can trip you up on on exams. And I will get to it shortly. So here I give you some initial numbers that I want us to start off in. So this would be, for example, M is equal to 0 0.5, Y is equal to 50, and if we times them together, we get 25. Now it makes sense that if M drops to 0.2 from 0 0.5 and Y drops from 50 to 40, then when we times M Y, it will be equal to 8. And similarly, if M rises from 0.5 to 0.6 and, uh, and Y rises from uh, 50 to 60, then M Y or M similarly rises from 25 to 36. Now these numbers could easily be substituted for T and Y. So imagine this can be T, Y, and this would be T, Y. It's the same idea. So what I'm trying to tell you here is we know that if M times Y, M falls and Y falls, then M would fall, or T falls and Y falls, then T would fall, or M rises, Y rises, M would rise, and T rises, Y rises, then T would rise. But what happens, what happens in the case when T rises, but Y falls, or M rises, and Y falls? Now, I pose that to a question to you. Can you tell me what you expect would happen if, if I just gave you that and, tell, and I asked you to tell me how, in which direction would T and M go? And similarly, what if T fell and Y rose? And what if M fell and Y rose? If on a test I told you, uh, I gave you these num, I gave you these uh, these initial uh, initial initial parameters that uh, that T just simply rose or Y and Y just simply fell, but I gave you no numbers. What are you gonna what are you gonna answer me with? Um, and I asked you what direction a T would T or M would go. How are you gonna answer me? Well, the question to the answer to this is that we don't know. That's that. That's a simple answer. We do not know. Why don't we know? Because we don't know the the tax rate. We don't know the tax rate, or the specific change in income, or the specific change in income. In income. So, essentially. We have to know the exact numbers for T and Y or M and Y to, add, to actually get the direction that T or M would go. So because, well, T can go up by a little bit and Y could go down by a lot or M could go up by a little bit, Y could go down a lot. Or maybe that T could go down by a lot and Y could go up a little bit. And that changes the directions that T and M could actually uh, go. It changes, it gives us multiple uh, possibilities to take into account. So we can't really give you a for sure answer, an exact answer. So we simply come up with the answer that we do not know. And that's what I want to teach you in this video, that there is a trick that professors can trip you up on on exams, and I want you to watch out for that. Thanks for watching.